Imagine finding a cheat code, not for a game, but for the very biological software that runs your body, a signal so profound that understanding and applying it could redefine the boundaries of recovery, regeneration, and overall systemic health. Dr. Mike here, and I wanna go over one such signal, a peptide that is not an external invention, but a compound derived from our own biology, isolated and concentrated to unlock its full potential. This is a deep dive into body protection compound 157, more commonly known as BPC-157 or BPC-157. Before we proceed, it is essential to state the following. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment purposes. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use, if you know you know. This is for informational purposes only, aiming to explore the existing scientific literature surrounding this compound. So what exactly is BPC-157? It is a pentdecapeptide, meaning it is a sequence of 15 amino acids. This specific chain is a synthetic peptide, but it is based on a protective protein found naturally in the stomach's gastric juices. Its very origin points to its purpose, protection, defense, and repair. Unlike many compounds in medicine that function like a single key for a single lock, BPC-157 acts more like a master locksmith. It doesn't just interact with one biological pathway, it enters the control room of the body's repair systems and begins methodically optimizing multiple processes at once. This multifaceted action is described by the term pleiotropic, a scientific way of saying it produces numerous effects from a single molecule. Crucially, these effects are not isolated, they create a synergistic cascade where each action enhances the others, leading to a powerful, holistic healing response. This exploration is not based on conjecture. It is a structured look at the peer-reviewed evidence and documented mechanisms that make BPC-1-57 a subject of intense interest in regenerative medicine. Let's break down the five foundational pillars of its action. The first and perhaps most critical mechanism is angiogenesis, the creation of new blood vessels. You cannot rebuild a city without roads and you cannot heal tissue without a robust blood supply. The moment an injury occurs, the affected area becomes hypoxic, meaning it's starved of oxygen. This lack of oxygen triggers a master protein called hypoxia-inducible factor 1-alpha, or HIF-1-alpha. Think of HIF-1-alpha as a site foreman. Once activated, it rushes into the cell's nucleus and begins activating the genes responsible for producing vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. VEGF is the construction crew. It brings in the bulldozers, the asphalt, and the workers needed to build the new roads, our vascular system, that will deliver oxygen, nutrients, and building materials to the site of injury. BPC-157 dramatically supercharges this entire process. It amplifies the HIF-1 alpha and VEGF axis, accelerating the construction of this vital infrastructure. But here is the crucial distinction. It does not promote the chaotic, disorganized growth of vessels seen in pathological conditions like tumors. Instead, it directs the formation of a highly organized, intelligent, and fully functional circulatory network akin to a meticulously planned city grid designed for optimal flow. With the roads in place, the focus shifts to erecting the buildings. This is where transforming growth factor beta-1, or TGF-beta-1, comes into play. TGF-beta-1 is the architect of tissue repair. It activates cells called fibroblasts, which are the construction workers of our connective tissues. Once activated, these fibroblasts begin producing the foundational materials for repair, collagen, fibronectin, and elastin. These proteins are the biological equivalent of steel, concrete, and rebar. They provide the structural integrity for everything from skin and tendons to bone. BPC-157 is a potent agonist for the TGF-beta-1 pathway. It turns every fibroblast into a hyper-efficient machine, producing high-quality collagen and other structural proteins at an accelerated rate. This is why the healing promoted by BPC-157 is so profound. It doesn't just patch the damage with weak scar tissue. It facilitates a complete rebuild, often resulting in tissue that is stronger and more resilient than it was before the injury. This same principle applies to bone. BPC-157 stimulates osteoblasts, the cells responsible for bone formation, leading to a stronger, more mineralized bone callus after a fracture. Now that we have roads and buildings, we need to ensure the seamless flow of traffic. This is managed by a crucial molecule, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the body's ultimate vasodilator. It's the signal that tells blood vessels to relax and open up. BPC-157 effectively hits the master switch. 
turning all the traffic lights green. It achieves this by significantly cranking up the production of endothelial nitric oxide synthase, or ENOS. This enzyme is responsible for converting the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. This flood of nitric oxide causes the smooth muscles in blood vessel walls to relax, a process mediated by a molecule called cyclic GMP. The pipes open wide, allowing for a massive increase in blood flow. The result is a hyperemic deluge, a tidal wave of blood that surges into the repaired area. This delivers a fresh supply of oxygen and nutrients while simultaneously power washing away metabolic waste and debris from the repair process. Together, these first three mechanisms create a perfect storm of healing, building new supply lines, constructing new tissue, and then flooding that tissue with everything it needs to thrive. The effects of BPC-157 are not confined to muscles and joints. Its influence extends to the most complex system in the body, the central nervous system. BPC-157 has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, allowing it to exert its effects directly within the brain and spinal cord. Inside the central nervous system, it upregulates the expression of growth hormone receptors on brain cells. This makes neurons exponentially more sensitive to the growth hormone and IGF-1 that is already circulating in the body. This enhanced sensitivity promotes neurite outgrowth and synaptogenesis, the growth of new neuronal connections and the strengthening of existing ones. It is akin to providing high-grade fertilizer for the brain's circuitry. Furthermore, it acts as a powerful shield against excitotoxic brain damage. In our modern environment, we are constantly exposed to substances that can overstimulate and damage neurons. BPC-157 helps stabilize intracellular calcium levels, protecting neurons from this harmful overactivation. It's important to clarify that this is not a conventional nootropic that provides a temporary cognitive boost. Rather, it functions as a neurological rehabilitation and protection agent, fostering long-term brain health and resilience. The final pillar of BPC-157's action is its sophisticated relationship with inflammation. Inflammation is not the enemy. Uncontrolled chronic inflammation is the problem. It's the difference between a raging inferno and a controlled burn. BPC-157 doesn't just suppress the immune response, it negotiates with it, acting as a master diplomat. It selectively tells pro-inflammatory, tissue-destroying cytokines like TNF-alpha and interleukin-6 to stand down. It achieves this by modulating their primary signaling pathway, nf Kappa B, but at the very same time, it promotes the activity of anti inflammatory and pro resolution cytokines like interleukin 10. These are the signals that tell the body to clean up, resolve the inflammation, and begin rebuilding. This intelligent modulation shifts the entire tissue environment from a state of destructive chaos to one of organized reconstruction. It is a biological peace treaty that allows for true healing to begin. Now let's look at the practical applications across various systems in the body. For gut health, in conditions like leaky gut, BPC-157 doesn't just soothe symptoms. It orders the upregulation of tight junction proteins, physically resealing the mucosal barrier and preventing harmful substances from leaking into the bloodstream. In the case of ulcers, its cytoprotective qualities combined with aggressive angiogenesis and collagen deposition work to fill the lesion. It's like applying a biological plaster cast to the stomach lining. For tendons and ligaments, it forces fibroblasts to lay down a highly organized and extremely robust matrix of new collagen fibrils, dramatically increasing the tensile strength of the connective tissue. It offers incredible liver protection by slashing oxidative stress, boosting the master antioxidant glutathione, and telling profibrotic pathways to halt while stimulating hepatocyte regeneration. In the pancreas, it protects the precious insulin-producing beta cells from cytokine-induced damage and reduces overall organ stress, acting as a bodyguard for this vital metabolic factory. For brain injury, it enhances neurotrophic support, combats excitotoxicity, and modulates neuroinflammation. Pairing this with other compounds like GHK copper can create a powerful synergistic effect for neuronal armor. In arthritic conditions, it helps quell the destructive cytokine activity within the joint, shifting the environment from destructive to constructive and potentially saving cartilage from being degraded by the body's own immune system. In the cardiovascular system, while a compound like TB500 is often noted for direct myocardial healing, BPC-157 plays a critical role by protecting against ischemia reperfusion injury through its potent vasodilatory and anti-apoptotic effects on cardiac muscle cells. This brings us to the most significant and often misunderstood topic surrounding BPC-157, the elephant in the room, the concern about cancer, 
the apprehension around BPC-157 and cancer is a prime example of scientific illiteracy. It is primarily based on a misinterpretation of a single 2019 in vitro study, meaning a study done in a petri dish, and applying its findings to the profoundly complex reality of a living organism. That is the logical equivalent of saying that because a drop of water makes a seed sprout, a hurricane must be good for agriculture. It is a flawed and dangerous oversimplification. The in vivo reality the truth within living systems points to the exact opposite conclusion. The totality of evidence suggests anti-tumorigenic effects. The first mechanism is its promotion of ecoderin expression. Ecoderin is the molecular glue that holds epithelial cells together. Cancer metastasizes, it spreads, precisely when it loses this adhesive property. BPC-157 reinforces this cellular glue, making it fundamentally anti-metastatic. Second, it counteracts pathological vascular permeability. Tumors rely on leaky, chaotic, disorganized blood vessels to grow and spread. BPC-157 builds organized, healthy vasculature, the very opposite of what a tumor needs. Most importantly, peer-reviewed studies have demonstrated that BPC-157 directly impairs the growth of certain carcinoma cells, particularly in the context of colorectal cancer. The argument requires a look at the weight of evidence, not cherry-picked data. Let's examine a specific powerful example from the published literature. A seminal 2017 study in the Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology investigated the effects of BPC-157 in diabetic rats with abdominal aortic aneurysms and impending limb amputation. This created a perfect analog for the metabolic chaos and systemic inflammation seen in cancer cachexia, the devastating wasting syndrome. The results were staggering. The BPC-157 treated group showed a complete reversal of the wasting process. They stopped catabolizing their own tissue, their blood glucose normalized, and the healing was so robust, the experiment had to be halted. To be even more direct, a 2021 study in the journal Biomedicines moved from animal models to human colorectal carcinoma cell lines. The findings were unequivocal. BPC-157 significantly suppressed the proliferation of these human cancer cells in a dose-dependent manner. More BPC-157 led to more cancer cell death. It induced cell cycle arrest and promoted apoptosis or programmed cell death, specifically in the cancer cells. It achieved this by modulating the WNT signaling pathway, which is notoriously dysregulated in over 90% of colorectal cancers. BPC-157 acted in this controlled setting as a chemotherapeutic agent a system in homeostatic balance, which is precisely what BPC-157 promotes, is the natural predator of the chaotic, dysregulated state of cancer. The narrative that this molecule is dangerous is built on a superficial, panicked misreading of isolated data. The counter-narrative that it is powerfully protective and anti-tumorigenic is built on decades of comprehensive research. True longevity and proactive health are not about finding some exotic berry from a remote jungle. It is about understanding and amplifying the most powerful, innate repair systems that are already encoded in our own biology. BPC-157 represents a key to that switch. It is the epitome of working with our biology, not against it. Its mechanisms are not theoretical. They are documented, peer-reviewed, and proven. This compound represents a significant paradigm shift in our understanding of regenerative medicine. It moves away from treating symptoms and towards repairing the underlying system. It prompts a fundamental question. Why wait for a catastrophic failure to address systemic weaknesses when tools exist to reinforce the foundation proactively? The consistent daily application of a compound that supports angiogenesis, tissue regeneration, vascular flow, neuroprotection, and inflammation control is a strategy for building a more resilient biological system. Many chronic conditions are the result of an initial injury or insult that the body failed to resolve completely. The inflammation never fully subsides and the tissue never fully rebuilds, leading to a state of perpetual dysfunction. BPC-157's mechanisms are perfectly suited to break this cycle, pushing the system out of a stuck state of chronic inflammation and into a productive state of resolution and repair. The data isn't just promising. For a research peptide, it is extensive and conclusive. It points towards a molecule that acts as a systemic stabilizer and a master repair signal. This isn't about a temporary hack or a superficial enhancement. It is about nurturing the very roots of health, ensuring the entire system is robust, responsive, and capable of maintaining itself.
The philosophy behind exploring compounds like BPC-157 is a shift from a reactive model of medicine to a proactive one. It is the understanding that preventing the fire is infinitely more effective than fighting the blaze by bolstering the body's innate ability to build blood vessels, regenerate tissue, optimize blood flow, protect the nervous system, and control inflammation. BPC-157 addresses health at a foundational level. The verdict from the cumulative body of research is clear. When evaluated comprehensively, BPC-157 emerges not as a cause for concern, but as a compound with a remarkable safety profile and a profound potential for systemic regeneration. The knowledge is available. The research has been published. The choice to explore this information and understand its implications is a critical step towards a more informed and empowered approach to personal health and biology. Understanding these fundamental signals is the future of health. It is about moving beyond surface level treatments and engaging with the very code that builds, maintains, and repairs the human body. The science speaks for itself. If you found this information valuable, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more content on the cutting edge of health science.